Welcome to this special edition of Wildlife TV. It's a little bit unusual because we filmed it up at Murawai. We'd got news that the first ever sighting of a red-footed booby on the New Zealand mainland had been made there. So we shot up from the Bay of Plenty on a day trip there and back to see if we could see the bird. Conditions were fantastic for flying gannets, howling wind, but that meant that our sound quality wasn't fantastic. The main drawback is that we didn't have Paul with us. He normally does our filming with his gear and microphones and does a good job of recording us. But we basically had to just use the little Fuji X100S to record a bit of video while we were there. So the sound quality is not great, but it gives you an impression of what the venue was like. We got some great perch pictures of the booby and some fabulous flying gannets. So hopefully you will be able to share a little bit of what we experienced on the day. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Welcome to this special edition of Wildlife TV. We've come up to Moroi to see the first red footed booby seen on the mainland of Zealand. We've up from the Bay of Plenty today on the off chance and we were really lucky as soon as we arrived we could spot it on the bridge and we've been having great fun photographing it. The gear I've been using has been the Nikon 300 M4. I've had it on the VA10 today because I don't need as much cropping, so it's given me a bit more flexibility. You can crop in for close shots, but still have enough looseness and framing to get some wider shots with it. The conditions are incredible for photographing the gannets. Howling and they're just hovering in the air beautifully in front of us. It's definitely a special day and it's been really worth the effort of coming out from the Bay of Plenty and we'll turn around and head back tonight. So, look forward to sharing some of those images with you. The things that were lost in the sound probably was the issues that I was talking about. We were basically using the Nikon 300F4 on the Nikon D810 and also on the D500 and it really highlighted the speed with which the D500 focuses and the ability that it has to really hold a subject in motion in sharp focus. My initial impressions have always been that it is very snappy but using the two bodies back to back it really highlighted how good the D500 is. I've never really felt that the D810 was terribly slow in focus but I really found I was having to repeatedly pump the back focus button to grab focus and follow a bird in flight whereas with the D500 you just pop it on the hold focus, lock and hang on to it tenaciously. It really is an amazing 
body for birds. That's basically what we covered in the video. Some of it will be lost in wind noise and gannet squawking. It was really exciting to travel up to see a rare bird and it was even more exciting to take some pictures and see the gannets in perfect conditions for flying and flight shots. So hope you enjoy that and join us next time. Remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode.